One of the best known cases of people without an identity is undoubtedly that of Kaspar Hauser. This young man, wearing badly torn clothes, was detained in a square in Nuremberg, Germany, on the 26th of May, 1828. In his hands, he clutched an envelope containing two letters. The first was addressed to Captain von Wessenich, the commander of a cavalry regiment, and contained a request to look after the young man. The second was allegedly written by the boy's mother, who wished him to follow in his late father's footsteps and join the army. When the boy was found, he was about 16 years old, and the only thing he could say or write was the name Kaspar Hauser. Many of those who examined these two letters believe that they were written by someone who had found the wandering boy and no longer had the means to support him. He recalled fragments of memories which he later wrote down as soon as he had learned to read and write. He claimed he'd been locked up in a dark room for many years and that someone had brought him food and water. Hauser's story caused a real sensation at the time and massive popular interest ensured he made a pretty good living out of his own mystery, which was, of course, his obscure origins. But such popularity also had its disadvantages, as he was the victim of numerous assassination attempts. Sadly, in 1833, one such attempt proved fatal, when he was stabbed to death by an unknown man. Hauser's grim fate only added to the mystery surrounding his life, and the intense speculation about his true origins. One popular theory suggests that the young man was the legitimate but unwanted heir of a high-ranking German aristocrat, believed by some to be the Prince of Baden. Whatever the truth may be, he certainly accomplished what others can only dream of achieving, as Caspar Hauser remains to this day one of the most iconic names associated with the city of Nuremberg.